Portraying Science as Artistic Experience by Delphine Keim and Sally Graves Macklis. While scientists seek to convey knowledge through research and data, artists seek to change culture through their unique vision. Some of the issues we face today, such as climate change, are so complicated that much of the population choose to reject science. In a collaboration between artists and scientists at the University of Idaho, artists were paired with scientists to develop compelling visual products based on scientific research. The goal of the project is to see if art can create a social-emotional impact with the scientific information affecting human understanding. We were paired with Dr. Samford Eigenbrode, Distinguished Professor of Plant, Soil, and Entomological Sciences. Our task was to delve into his research on aphids. He transferred to us his fascination and passion for aphids, their ability to reproduce, their resilience and adaptability a creature so tiny with enormous capacity to wreak havoc on the global food supply. Yet we tried to instill in the viewer the same sense of wonder that Dr. Eigenbrode shared with us in creating the body of work titled Abundant. Here we discuss the creation of a body of artwork about aphids, food security, and climate. We, the artists, argue that the use of visual and verbal ambiguity is a strong device for opening up thinking in the viewer. Presented with ambiguity, the human mind pauses to understand and solve perceived dilemmas. Offering an interpretive artistic experience affords viewers a new point of entry to the science, one that might help the viewer question their own perspective. The painted panels in the Body of Work Abundant offers the viewer a single word in combination with imagery. Each word was selected for its positive connotation, especially if we are thinking in terms of human attributes, resilient, adaptable, and prolific. Who wouldn't want to be described as having these attributes? But what if we are talking about an insect that is resilient to predators, or a plant disease that is resilient to cures? Humans want to be thought of as prolific in their work and lives, but what if something as small as an aphid reproduces at a rate that is impossible to keep up with? When we apply the word prolific to an image of a giant pregnant aphid, and the baby aphids are pregnant with aphids before they are born, it is a mind-blowing concept. We have shifted our understanding of this attribute as being positive and leveraged the ambiguity afforded by our strategic word choices in these pieces. The centerpiece to the body of work is titled Threshold. It is set on a horizon of an abstract landscape of this region. Here on the Palouse, we are surrounded by rolling hills covered in wheat, peas, and lentils. Here, abundant could refer to the notion of relative food security we enjoy. A shelf of bowls embellished with 3D printed aphid milagros holding the food crops of the region sits in front of the landscape. The veneration of the aphid through the milagro motif again forces the viewer to confront the ambiguity of the insect's amazing yet destructive powers. The piece is completed with a swarm of aphids cut from organza, creating an ethereal and beautiful expression of nature, perhaps reminding the viewer of their own experience of walking through a swarm of aphids. Art helps us understand what it means to be human. We are living in a time of deep political and social polarization. We have left the nuance out of our thinking and stopped listening to each other. We seek to remind our viewers that their point of view is valid, and we hope as they experience the artwork that they find empathy for the points of view of others.